Welcome back to Begin Again. If you've been following me for the past year, you know that I have been struggling with a big oversteer problem that really persists most every race that I go to. It seemed like no matter what I did, that oversteer just would not go away. So, it's time to go back to the drawing board. I'm out here at Dallas Karting Complex with my buddy Mike Jones. Mike's shown up in a lot of our videos, so you know who he is. Mike, you gave me a phone call. You said, may not have an optimal chassis set up for somebody of my height. May have a driver problem, but you can work on a driver problem later. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's, let's Ongoing go. Ongoing problem. <laughs> Ongoing problem. <laughs> and, and so anyway, and to be fair, he's probably right. There is a, there, the nut behind the wheel is not so hot. Um, but tell me what you're thinking. We, we're looking at a seat. We're looking at a change in Ackerman. What are we, what are we talking about here? Well, there's not always like an optimal chassis setup, right? Okay. I mean, the track condition is never the same from one to the next. It's definitely going to be different from January to July yes. or whatever. So yes. first and foremost, when we first hit the track, we want to kind of start the, the chassis out as what we call neutral. Okay. And that's just kind of no caster. Camber is neutral, um, uh, neutral axle position, and all you know those type of things. Mm -hmm. And then we go and make a few laps, get the tires up to temperature, and then find out where the chat where the track is at. Um, we can always change the track, but we can change the chassis. Yep. So um, you know, one once there's, I, I I go through this a lot with especially new drivers, but they always come to me and they go. What's the what's the tire temperature? What's the best tire t tire pressure? And I go, well, it all depends on what the track is at, you know. Yeah. And it, it's all the same for the rest of the chassis. So um, uh, that's kind of the struggle being in this business, you know. That and that's <laughs> that's why some of the newer drivers get frustrated and they leave before they really understand, right. you know, what all the card is capable of doing. So that's my uh, my struggle, you know, here at the track every day because you see it all the time. See it all the time, you know, yeah. and. As much as uh, as simple as the cart looks, it's really not at all. It's very complex. It is, you know. And when we spend a half a day or you know, some time with a new driver, um, they soon learn, you know, just how how complex a go kart yeah. is. Yeah, and this stuff isn't supposed to be easy. No, no. If it was easy, it wouldn't be fun. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know. For, for guys like us who have been doing it for a long time, the buzz comes. We should all know it all. <laughs> yeah. And we're still kind of like, I don't know. That's why I come to you. <laughs> you know? Because like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so in, in my conversations uh, with Sean Owens, you brought him back. Um, we're looking at a, an Ackerman change. Mm -hmm. We're looking at taking all that bazillion degrees of caster out. Yeah. We're going to change that. I remember somebody saying that once yeah, upon yeah, a time. Yeah, well, was, and you know, basically <laughs> I've been running a wet weather setup. Yeah, sure have. At a track that has really weird grip. <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's corner weird. Corner. Right. You know, God love it. I mean, it's a technical track. And if yep. you can go quick there, you can go quick anywhere. There you go. In my, in my yeah, opinion. I agree. Yeah. But setting it up is a challenge. It and, is. And I'm kind of like, whew, I'm It done. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and those those guys that you know come from uh, NTK, you know, have have learned all that. So because the track does change from one to the other, so you have to know, you know, what changes to make and when to make it. Yep. Yep. Um, and but so yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of go through the whole cart and yeah. get back to neutral, you yep. know, and then go hit the track with that neutral setup and find out where we're at and then start making some changes. Yep. We have made a few changes over the year and it's kind of the, what do they say, the, the, the tail wagon, the dog? Yeah, something, something, like, okay, that, something yeah. like that. So um, let's get back to neutral and just kind of start over. Yeah, because I think I got lost. Me too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so anyway, but yeah, that's the whole point. And I, I will just say on camera, Thank you for calling me. Yeah. Because I've been sitting there going, man, I, I don't even want to call Mike and sound like a complete idiot. 
So when you called and offered that little bit of grace to me, it was like, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Because, you know, the male ego, man. I no mean, problem. I got one. <laughs> we all so, do. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thank you. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Sounds good. Awesome. All right, guys. So obviously now I'm back at North Texas Cartways. Got my buddy Jack. You know, we've had all these great ideas, all the changes that were made. We talked about that. Now it's time to go see where the rubber meets the road. Were these ideas a good idea or not? I think you got to get it out there and try it. Uh, and uh, But in the past, when I did drive your car, it did seem way too sensitive on the front end. You always complained about that. Yeah, you said it was like real darty. Real darty, and uh, yeah, I guess it'd be snap, oversteer, you'd turn a little bit. It was too sensitive in it throughout the beer. Of course, I wasn't used to your cart either. Sure. But that was just my general impression yep. of the cart. As far as handling, that was the biggest thing to me with it. Was the power on oversteer? Hard for me to drive. Yep. yep. Smoothly. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, it ought to be really interesting. I'm going to go run some laps. I mean, Mike told me, he says, I'm allowed to change the jets and I'm allowed to change tire pressures. Other than that, I can't touch no. a thing. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll hold you accountable. Okay, that's great. That's yeah. great. Okay, Mike, so you've got that one on film. All right, great. Well, let's go see what's going All right. on. All right. So after all those changes, I was really curious to see how it was going to work because the changes that had been made by Mike and Sean were radically different than what I had been running before. And you can see that at first, the cart still was a little bit oversteery, but the track didn't have very much rubber laid down. And as we started driving more and more, the track did start coming in and the cart started feeling better. Okay, first session is done with. Tire pressures grew about two and a half pounds all the way around, so I dropped them back down to where I think they ought to be. Track is really slippery, which is no surprise. It rained uh, a couple nights ago, so it's just green, green, green. Um, but that said, certainly the cart is less physical to drive. And like Jack was talking about, it doesn't jerk around as much now. So it's a very different kind of feel from the cart. Otherwise, uh, I think I'm gonna like it. I'm still <laughs> obviously way behind the cart. We're gonna go out and try it again here in a few minutes. But hey, you know what? I did 10 or 11 laps. I'm already kind of running times like I was running before. So let's see what happens. I'm um, pretty excited about it. Let's see how it goes. So back out onto the track I go, this time being followed by Jack so that he could kind of take a look at what the cart looked like uh, dynamically right on the track. By this time, some rubber had gotten laid down and that helped to make the cart a whole lot more settled. But you can see here going into turn seven, and the cart really is hooked up very nicely. Same thing for turn eight. Here's one of the entry into eight. Here's another angle from eight. Looks pretty good. And then we go on board. I thought I'd share this. This is not a great lap, but it's a representative lap. You can see I'm kind of hunting into turn one. That's my fault, not the cart. Could have carried a lot more speed into turn two, but again, just hadn't driven in a long time. Into the chicane, really didn't hit the curbs right, so I lost a lot of time through there. Turn seven, not too bad. A little bit of oversteer on the way out, that didn't help, but not so bad. Into eight, nine, back up through the gears. So again, not a great lap by any stretch of the imagination, but not too bad either. You see me telling Paul to come on into the pits, my, my cameraman, we were done for this session. Okay, so we finished up the end of the first day of testing with the new chassis changes. It's definitely better. I've had about a three month layoff from driving and I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of disgusted with myself right now. Um, was not driving well. Turned about the same lap times that I was turning when we last came out here and drove. The cart is less physical to drive, which is a good thing. I think I can go a race distance without just running completely out of gas. I think my fitness program that I've been doing over the winter time has been paying dividends. 
There's no doubt I'm a whole lot stronger, so that's really helped out a lot. The track was really slippery, and I made a, uh, a tire pressure change. I took a pound of tire pressure out when the tires were hot, and that was the wrong way to go. It made the cart worse. So I was able to go and just clean up my driving and go quicker. Not really indicative of what this thing can do. The other thing is, is that we are way rich on the carburation. We've got to go and lean that thing down. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. And I genuinely hope that this information, as we've gone through this journey, of transforming my cart with new power, a new chassis setup philosophy, all those things. I really hope you found this uh, helpful. Talk to you soon.